We are back with another teacher profile. We have with us Francis Harms from the San Juan Unified School District. Francis is one of two teachers of the year in that school district. Uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. And congratulations on being a, a teacher of the year. Thank you. I'm very honored. <laughs> well, let me ask you first, uh, tell me where you teach and, and what you teach. Okay. I teach a community transition program um, at Laurel Ruff Learning Center which is a little different because I have students who are 18 to 22 years old from special education. And they come from the high schools and we are teaching them hopefully to be as independent as possible out in the community. Tell me what that's like uh, teaching th that level of student. It's great fun <laughs> and um, what I'm teaching is so diverse. There are so many different things that I can teach them. Um, using a lot of teachable moments where, where things just come up. Maybe they're supposed to be drying dishes and the dishes are wet and so, so we can say, well, would you like to eat off this? But, but we do a lot of household things, independent living skills, riding the buses, taking college classes, going to work, doing ROP, um, so learning to live independently at home and at work and at college. Tell me for you as a teacher uh, how rewarding it is to, to make the connections with those students and see progress. It's incredibly rewarding because I, I see them grow over two, three or four years and then I keep in touch with them after they leave me. And I can see things that they could do. They're very impressionable. It's amazing between 18 and 22 leaving high school they can learn a lot of stuff and I can see how they're more like school children when they come and how they grow and mature. and learn to respect each other and to do lots and lots of things in the community. What are some of the biggest challenges that you face in your classroom uh, with the students that you teach? Um, I have a few behavior problems but that's not major. Um, I think probably teaching them to the level so they can be really successful and also uh, building their self-esteem so that wherever they go, choosing the programs or the workplace that they should, should end up being in, in the community. So it's a big challenge for me to match my students with the life that they're going to have after they leave me, and make sure that they're successful. And with each student that you have, uh, their level of, of uh, I guess, for lack of a better word, competency is, is, is different. So you're teaching each one as an individual, too. Absolutely. Huge diversity. I have students that cannot write their name, cannot, some of them um, cannot speak, and I have others that can almost take college classes, could probably hold down a job with some support, maybe live independently. Others that will always have to live in a group home or with their parents. So huge, huge diversity. So what is it like for you when you're in the classroom and you kind of see that spark go off in their eye where something, something connects and they realize that they've gotten something or they know how to accomplish a task? What's that like for you? Oh. It just makes, they get under your skin and it makes your heart go funny because you can just see that they've learned something and, and everybody's behind them. It's not just me that feels that way, it's my staff in the classroom and the other students. Everybody knows if somebody's really achieving and it's great. And what's it like for them? What kind of reaction do they give to you uh, when, when they've made those connections? They're also very happy and you could tell and I don't do any concrete prize giving in my f classroom, it's all internal and that works, that's all they need, that feeling that they've accomplished something and they, that's an adult thing and, and you can just see it, they know that they've finally been able to succeed and do something well. Tell me what inspired you to be a teacher, especially uh, teaching uh, special needs children. Well. I fell into this job, or fell into this field. This, I used to teach high school science and physical education. And when I left England, I, I um, ended up doing a degree in something in recreation administration. And I fell into this population. This was where I could get some volunteer work. And I fell in love with it. And so I wasn't inspired as a child, but I have the job of my dreams now. <laughs> Well, what was it about dealing with these students and these special needs students that kind of drew you in and, 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 how, and how did it touch you and make you want to, to stay in this field? Well, when you walk into the room, they're always glad to see you. 
um, and you you can measure the success. You know they're, they're, that you can see it. It's and I like it. I, I like to um, work with their individual lives and and um, find the things that that's that. If I wasn't in education, I would like to do some kind of administration and managing kind of job. And I can do that with my students. I can network and find the the ways to make them successful. And they make me feel really great. So. Yeah, tell me about that. Tell me about the feeling that you get uh, when you see these successes. You just feel that you've made a difference, that you've achieved something that they, more importantly, that they have, that they can go on and do something else that's new and better than they could do before, that their self-esteem is built. And wherever they end up, whether it's a job or living independently or in a, an adult program for special needs, um, they're going to feel good about themselves and be successful, the most successful they can be. Now, did, did any one teacher in your background inspire you? Are there any teachers that you can think of that... that well, could... I always liked physical education, so, so probably that was the teacher that inspired me the most, but that's not the field I'm in anymore, except that I do a lot of volunteering with Special Olympics and a, another organization called Very Inspirational People. I put on a... Um, tournaments for them, so okay. sports tournaments. Tell me how your, ins your students inspire you. Oh, they always make me feel good. You walk into the room and it's like um, Norm on Cheers, you know, and they, they <laughs> you remember that? Yes. <laughs> and um, they always make you feel good and they, they always take the time to talk to you and inquire about how your life's going and um, they try very hard to do the things they're supposed to do. They, they're usually not quitters. Do you, do you find it uh, challenging to inspire your students sometimes? Do you feel that sometimes they get so frustrated? Occasionally. I mean, it's not generally that hard, but sometimes we really have to work to find the, the, um, the, the spark, the motivation. Yeah, that can be a real challenge to find the motivation to, to make them be successful and to so they can do what they want to do, to find the, the match between the job that they really, their dreams and their goals. And now you also work with the families in special of course, education. Yes, you get yes. to know the families very well. Mm -hmm. um, those must be some pretty special connections. Yes, yes, and they're enduring. They, they can go on for years. And we work very closely with the families. I'm on the phone with them or emailing them constantly. Um, and they have that information, it's readily available. And uh, I also work with service clubs and with um, their coordinators in the community. It's very important that I'm networking and, and working out, not just with families, but with future programs, what they're going to be doing when they leave me. So really, with uh, students with special needs, the, the teacher as well as the family really has to work together. Oh, absolutely, yes very much so. We have to be on the same page and I want to be talking to them a lot because I, I don't want this to suddenly be a big problem. I want us to be working all the time together to provide the best program possible. Well, finally, let me ask you, I mean, there are a lot of people out there who uh, are thinking about teaching as a career. Mm -hmm. What would you say to those people out there who are thinking about it, aren't quite sure, what would you say to, to inspire them uh, to be interested in being a teacher? I would say that if you work hard at teaching and you really think you're going to enjoy it, then you can get a lot of satisfaction, a great deal of satisfaction um, from teaching and, it, and some long time friendships. You, you, you can get the joy of seeing your students grow and it will make you feel really good. <laughs> and you've seen students grow and it, it must really be uplifting for you to see those mm -hmm. students really progress and be able to take care of themselves and be out in the community. I have lots of stories about successes and where my students are now and yeah it's fun to look back. Well remember. congratulations on being named one of San Juan Unified School District's uh, Teachers of the Year. We're with Francis Harms from San Juan. Thank you for joining us today.